Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day wherever you are, whether it's night or day or midday. So today's video is actually an empties video. Now I absolutely love empties videos. I don't know if these videos, like empties videos, are still popular on YouTube, but I have a lot of empty products that I really want to show you guys and give you guys some reviews on. And I've been collecting this stuff for like the past six or so months um and i love watching empties videos because you kind of get like a review of like the product and i just love seeing what people throw out like i just have a strange addiction to watching empties videos so i have this big container full this is actually like my washing basket this is normally what i put my washing in you guys would have seen it in one of my recent kmart hauls um but yeah i've just filled it with like a lot of like different products mostly beauty products um i have like one candle in here i'm probably just gonna sit with this up here because there's a lot in here so first things first let's just go through with what's on the top i have two deodorants this is the like deodorant that i wear on top of my other deodorant i have like a stick here we go yeah i pretty much use like this it's like a stick okay so this is like what the texture is it's kind of like like a balm that like goes into your pores so yeah i use this um like on my actual pits because it kind of like stops me from sweating i like naturally always sweat so yeah i finished this one i actually really like that one and i just got another one because it was reduced I really like this because i find that it like stops me from like sweating um because it kind of like blocks my pores which i don't know if it's very good for you but i do really like it and then this is the one that i just used to like spray um i just like this scent out of all of them and then i have this one in my gym bag because it's a little bit smaller okay i'm kind of going to categorize these things so we can get through this stuff quite quickly but i finished some facial scrubs these are the three that i finished you guys would have seen i think this one in my skincare routine i love this um like facial scrub because it's not really harsh on my skin but it still like detoxifies my skin i really love this it's like really gentle and it's soaking which is like all natural and i find that this i don't know cleans out my pores but without really aggravating my sensitive skin this one is like in a brightening exfoliator i actually really really liked this one because it wasn't too harsh on the exfoliant um and i think i got this one from priceline and i think i got this one from kmart and then this is another soaking one this is the revitalizing facial scrub um this one has like walnut and bamboo in it which i actually really liked it was more of a milky kind of consistency this one was still milky this one it was not milky at all um but yeah i really like this one as well um it just kind of like moisturized my face while exfoliating so it didn't just like rip everything and all the natural oils out of my skin which i really really liked um so yeah i really liked these i have already repurchased this one um and i repurchased a different sukin one it's like a rose hip revitalizing facial scrub so kind of similar but kind of different and then i haven't repurchased this one because i already have like three in my shower at the moment so yeah but i would recommend all of these i love sukin skincare it's probably one of my favorite skincare products i just really like it for my sensitive skin and it's all natural and they're all affordable which is really really great you can pick them up from woolies priceline or kmart or whatever wherever you get your skincare products and chemist warehouse too if you i have another little deodorant this one was probably just in my handbag or in my car okay so the next couple of things that i picked up because they're kind of sliding out of the basket um are actually just some makeup wipes some empty makeup wipes things these ones are actually five packs that my boyfriend's mum gave me she just got them for free they're actually really good they're like organic and everything they're natural organic they're sensitive facial wipes they're kind of like a milkier consistency um and they're just really friendly to travel with they're not tested on animals vegan gluten free 100 biodegradable and compostable which is actually really great and it's australian owned yeah i really liked these um i don't really use makeup wipes that often anymore because i have my face halo but they are nice to just be there if i don't feel like taking my makeup off with my face halo or if i'm traveling um i have the sephora watermelon cleansing facial wipes this was just like a little travel pack it had 10 makeup wipes in there i don't know if i really liked these that much um they weren't amazing but they weren't horrible i also have these sephora cucumber cleansing wipes this is just a bigger packet of them i actually really liked these these weren't really like makeup wipes they were more cleansing wipes but yeah, you can get these from Sephora and they're quite cheap. We might move on to some hair stuff now. Um, I just finished this hairspray. This actually wasn't mine. I didn't actually buy this, but it got left at my house like I think two years ago. And I've just been using it and I just finished it. It was actually pretty good. This is just the Settle Hairspray Extra 
firm i did really like this hairspray i felt like it really like stuck my hair down but 100 repurchase this and the next thing is just this batiste this is in the scent eden which is sugar melon and honeysuckle i loved the smell the smell of this it was actually really really nice i think i got this one from priceline batiste is like one of the best um dry shampoos out there i don't really use it that much i more use it for just adding volume to my hair but yeah i do really like batiste it's one of my favorite dry shampoo brands and it's super cheap and affordable i think every youtuber says that but honestly it's true then the next thing is just this tresemme mousse um lasting body extra control salon finish i just use this to kind of slick my hair up in a bun but yeah i've just been using hairspray recently but yeah i do really like this just because i can like slick it back with my slick comb okay i've got one tan here which is the bondi sands self tanning foam in dark i love bondi Bondi Sands. I have moved on to their Aero Tan and their One Hour Tan, so I think I was just using this up. Um, look, it's a great tan, but it does kind of make me a little bit orange. Um, and everyone has their own personal preference for tans. Um, this used to be my favorite, but since the Aero Tan has come out, that has replaced it. Oh lol, I have another one of those um, detoxifying Sukin facial scrubs. So yeah. I really do like this and I think I have another one in my shower so okay so next thing I want to move on to is this shampoo and conditioner this is the Bondi Boost hair growth shampoo and conditioner I bought two of these because they had like a bundle if you buy two and I'm actually glad that I did I do think this is really good for growing your hair this isn't gonna be the sole purpose why your hair grows um, other things like hair supplements and your diet and not using heat and like products on your hair and doing hair masks regularly will also help help in growing your hair but I have noticed my hair grows since using this and as well as doing everything in combination it is a little bit more on the pricey side I would like to get the bigger bottles but yeah I think I'm finishing the conditioner my second conditioner in the shower and I think that my shampoo is empty I've just got it like sitting upside down and it's got like a little bit in there but it's not enough for a use but yeah I do really like this I just don't think it's like amazing amazing you have to kind of do like other things to help your hair grow as well okay so another little category i'm kind of just like going and picking out some similar products um this is what i clean my makeup brushes and my sponges with so i clean my makeup brushes with if i do a deep clean i use this makeup brush cleaner from daiso you guys have probably seen this all over the internet it's actually really good and it's just like a it's kind of like a liquid. Yeah, I've gone through a couple of these. I only have one in here at the moment and I always repurchase it because it's just really cheap and affordable. Um, and you can get it from Daiso if I didn't mention that before. I'm just gonna leave that there. And then I also use this Mecca Max Power Tool. Um, it's like a spray brush cleaner. Jesus. It's like a spray brush cleaner. So I use this on my eye brushes when like they're all dirty and I just need to clean my brushes. So I don't actually deep clean my eye brushes that often. I probably do it like once a month if I've like used makeup that's really stained. But I always use this on my face brushes and I probably clean them probably like every two to one, like every two weeks to one month. Um, it just depends how much I wear makeup in that month. But yeah, I love this. I cannot recommend this enough. I actually had a friend use it maddie my best friend she used it at falls a couple of years ago and i was like what is that that looks amazing she goes oh you can get it from mecca Mac maxima um so it's just the mecca max brand and it's like 20 dollars, and it's like a brush refresh mist and you can use this actually like in between your eyeshadows so if you have a one eye brush you can use to spray it like do it on a paper towel and then it actually dries really really quickly so i really recommend this especially if you hate cleaning your brushes like me um i would recommend this a lot to you guys um it does save a lot of time and you don't have to deep clean your brushes every month or every two weeks when you normally do it's great for eye brushes if you do makeup a lot and also if you guys are like a makeup artist in between clients this is what i used on my sister's formal day because i did four of her girlfriend well four including her makeup and yeah it, in between each of their eye looks i used this yeah i really recommend this it's really great and affordable too and then this is the um soap that i use on my sponges this is just the puff sponge detergent um from daiso it's also like two dollars eighty and it's just really really good i love it um and i can use as much as i want on like a sponge and not be like oh my god i'm using so much product because i used to have the beauty blender um soap and i still do i still use it i think that's a really really good soap but this is just like a dupe for like probably like 
1% of the price. Okay, let's move on to some body wash now. I have two to show you. I actually don't use that much body wash. I just use like a soap bar. And then when I want to smell pretty or if I'm lazy or for whatever reason, I'm like, I'm going to use the body wash today. I'll use the body wash in the shower. But I finished this one ages ago. I actually bought this for my boyfriend because he's like, I don't want to use the soap. Now he uses the soap. But yeah, he used to use this one and he didn't like my girl smelling one. So this was just the palm. Oh, almost dropped it. This is just the palm olive hydrating seam minerals with moisture blend shower gel. You can just get this from Woolworths. Look, it's a shower gel. It's like not great, but not shit. Um, it cleans your body. That's all I'm after from a shower gel. And then I have this one, which I actually bought last year on my Black Friday sale. That video is like probably like a year old. Like I've almost had my channel for a year now. This is the Body Shop Banana Body Wash. And I loved this. It legit smells like bananas, like banana lollies. It is amazing. Okay, so let's move on to some toothpaste. This kind of like matches my top. Hi. Mm, hi. <laughs> um, this is like the toothpaste that I use. These are two different types, but I usually just use any of the Colgate Optic White, either the one that's on special at Woolworths or the one that we bought from Costco or whatever. Um, I love the Optic White. I've been using it for years and years um, since actually um, Lauren Curtis and Chloe Morello did the um, Colgate Optic White campaign. I've literally been using it since then and that's probably like four, maybe five years old now, which is absolutely crazy. I cannot believe that this stuff, I used to watch them like many years ago back to the toothpaste i keep getting sidetracked on this video um yeah i just love it and I, I think it keeps my teeth really white um sometimes i don't use it all the time sometimes like i don't feel like using colgate optic white um especially when i'm at my boyfriend's house um i don't use optic white because they don't have one there so i just use whatever toothpaste they have um i have actually been through like probably like two more of these but my parents don't understand the concept of an empty zip video so they kept on throwing my toothpaste out um, but I was like, no, stop throwing my toothpaste out because I'm trying to do an empties video. But yeah, um, this one's just the express white and then this one's just the enamel white. So yeah, I just use whatever one is on special at Woolworths or the one that I bought from Costco. Um, also my mum and my sister use this and I think it does really make your teeth white and keeps them white. Um, I really want to get like the pen that you can like individually whiten your teeth, but I have a teeth whitening kit that I do not use, um, because I'm lazy. To go with that, I'm actually throwing out my plastic toothbrush. I recently got sent some, not recently, it's probably like six months ago. I got sent some um, Ripple, the Ripple toothbrushes, which are a bamboo toothbrush. Um, and I love them. I think they're amazing. I love bamboo toothbrushes. If you haven't got a bamboo toothbrush, this is me telling you to go and buy a bamboo toothbrush. They're so much better for the environment and they actually are really, really good. Like they're not, they're not, they don't have as much like toothbrush stuff going on but they're really great and they're so much better for the environment um so yeah i'm actually throwing out my old toothbrush this has been in there for like probably six months now so yeah i just like throw it out straight away um i do actually need a new one so i'm probably gonna get one you can get them from woolworths too not the ripple brand but just like bamboo toothbrushes in general what do i want to do next okay let's do some moisturizers now this is just the little travel size of the nivea rich moisturizing moisturizer i love this moisturizer it's just plain simple i have the full size of this that i'm currently using but i took this one to greece and i always take it to who like wherever i'm traveling because it's travel friendly um but yeah i've just finished it so i'm going to be throwing out and then i finished this moisturizer ages ago um my sister actually gave this to me because she has eczema and she has really sensitive skin so she couldn't use this anymore um, so I just like finished it for her. It's just this very mixed berry hand and body lotion. It's the sense of nature. I think she bought this from like the cheap shop. She needed a moisturizer and then her skin reacted to it. So I just finished it off. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't shit, but yeah, it smelled like mixed berry. So I think that's what sent her skin off. So if you have really sensitive skin or eczema or anything, I would not recommend this. Um, this one, however, is really good and it keeps me moisturized for so long. Okay, let's move on to some random products now. I might include this one in this little bundle and um, this is just the Garnier um micellar water I forgot what this was but this is an essential in pretty much every girl's um skincare routine or makeup routine or whatever um this is amazing I think there's enough said on the internet about this I recommend it 100% um it's amazing and when I sometimes I use my face hello and I'll just go over this um with like a cotton bud or like a what's it, a makeup pad or whatever and i'll clean especially now that i've got eyelash extensions i do just use like a cotton pad and just rest it on there and just like um gently wipe away my eye makeup when i do wear eye makeup 
I still have another one of these in my makeup collection and my skincare collection at the moment. I cannot recommend this enough. It's amazing, really cheap and affordable, and you can get it from pretty much anywhere nowadays. And the next thing that I'm going to throw out is this Lush Dark Angels um, Facial Cleanser. If you guys have been following me from pretty much the start of the year, I included this in my summer favorites video. I love this cleanser. It was like a black, kind of like a moussey. I've like full scraped out the tub. But yeah, if you go back and watch that video, you guys would have heard my review on it. I loved this. And it lasted me forever. This lasted me about eight months. Um, I don't know if you meant to keep it for that long, but it lasted me that long. And yeah, it was really good for summer. I probably wouldn't use it in winter because I did have a little bit more sensitive skin. Um... But yeah, for summer, especially when you're going to the beach, wearing sunscreen on your face, makeup, and sweating a lot, this is really great to really clean out your T-zone and your pores. Um, I recommend this so much. I love it so much. And then I'm also throwing out this Keratin Smooth uh, Flat Ironing Smooth Spray. I love this. It's just like a like heat protectant spray. I just finished it off. Um, I love the Tresemme Keratin Smooth um, because I do normally have like quite frizzy, not curly anymore, but like wavy curly um, hair. I always straighten it. I'm slowly not straightening it, especially leading into summer. Um, but yeah, this is just really good to protect my hair from my split ends and everything. And yeah, I always get split ends um, because I use my straightener on the highest temperature, which is not the greatest for my hair. But what can you do? It makes my hair really straight and I love that. Next, I feel like moving on to some supplements. Um, I've actually recently stepped up my supplement game. I'm just like unsticking myself to from my leather chair because it's hot. It's starting to get really hot in Brisbane. Recently, I've been taking vitamin C tablets just to kind of strengthen my immune system. I have a really weak immune system. I had glandular fever a couple of years ago. I get the flu really easily because I work at Woolworths and I'm touching cash and everyone's groceries that are sick. It's just a recipe for disaster. So I've been taking vitamin C tablets to kind of like boost my immune system and like boost just like the benefits of vitamin C. Um, and like during when I was sick, I would just like go ham on the vitamin C and I think it would like help. Um, but yeah, I take one every night um, and I think it's really been helping. I haven't gotten sick recently, touch wood. But yeah, I just really like these. This is just the Black Moors brand. You can get a whole heap of different type of supplements and vitamin C supplements from Woolworths. Um, so yeah, that's just what I've been taking. The next supplement that I've been taking is this SUP brand in a collagen vitamin. Um, this is just what it looks like. You can get this from Bullworth or like any type of chemist. Um, and then it comes with like a little tub on the inside. Um, I do really like this. I think that this has really been a game changer in like my skin recently. Like I am on the pill for my skin and I should have probably included a lot of those in here because I've been gone through like one pretty much every month but yeah my skin has actually been so much more glowy and plump since using these my hair i can actually notice how much my hair has like become healthy and my nails my nails is probably the biggest thing that i've noticed um change or improved my nails are so strong now they're growing so healthy i had fake nails on for splendor and i think that was the last time i'd gotten them and i don't think i'm gonna get them um very soon just because like they're really hard with work and I've just been getting my eyelashes done recently so I've kind of put like my money into that um getting my eyelashes done and peppering myself that way um but yeah I haven't had fake nails in ages and my nails are really 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 strong um they're kind of gross and dirty at the moment and I've had to cut them like every two weeks which for me I'm like whoa and they haven't been breaking they've been really really great and yeah, I really recommend these, but I mean, don't start taking supplements because I told you to or any other YouTuber told you to. Definitely seek recommendation from your doctor or stop taking supplements if you notice something different in your routine or in your health. But yeah, I just really, really like these. I just picked them up from Woolworths or any chemist, um, and I definitely have been noticing a difference in my skin, hair, and nails, which is what collagen is for. We are getting down to the last couple of products. Woohoo! Okay, the next couple of things are actually some skincare products um, again. So I have finished the Simple Hydrating Light Kind to Skin Moisturizer. You guys would probably know this moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. This is the live one. I also love the rich one. Um, in like the winter months, I use the rich one. And then the um, summer months, I use the light one. Or I use the light one in the morning. And then I use the rich one at night. And I... I just really love them. They're really simple. They have simple ingredients and they don't make me break out or they don't react to my sensitive skin. 
I highly, highly recommend this and it's really cheap and affordable and you can easily access it from any store. The next thing is this simple hydrating cream gel. I actually finished this quite a couple of months ago. Um, it wasn't amazing. It wasn't terrible. Um, I just really rather my kind of skin moisturizer. I think it's so much better. But yeah, this one was like a water boost. So it was kind of like a different consistency and it was for dehydrated and dry skin. Anyway, the next product isn't actually an empties. This is actually a product that I am throwing out. It is the Jojoba Company Blemish Control Serum. This is what it looked like. Um, if it wants to focus, there we go. I actually bought this from Trade Secret and it actually looked really great. The ingredients all looked really great. It was really natural. It had jojoba oil in it. It was natural, clearly, um, visibly clears skin, visibly decreases shine. It's for all skin types. So I thought this was actually going to be amazing. But it actually burnt my skin and I had a rash up both sides. I probably used too much, but it actually burnt it on two occasions. So I was trying to find out the second time if I if it was this in my skincare routine that I was like was making me react to it because I didn't necessarily like change anything. It was, I was just adding this. So this is quite full actually. Um, but yeah, I think the vitamin C in this, like I think it was just too much. It was just like too much going on in my skin it was too strong so yeah i don't recommend this if you have dry or dehydrated skin um or sensitive skin at all yeah it really really burnt my skin and my sister loves skincare so i asked her i was like can you please research this and see if like something in it is making me break out because i don't know what it is um and she said all the ingredients look fine it may be just like too strong for you so i stopped using this immediately yeah it's a real shame because i thought this was actually going to do well um on my skin and help my blemishes but yeah it just really didn't it didn't react well to my skin okay i've got two random products this is just a palm olive hand sanitizer this is in the fig and coconut scent i have these in my cart in my handbag in my whatever bag i love these because they're really travel friendly and i loved this scent this fig and coconut scent was really great the next two things actually are makeup products. I have finished a Too Faced Hangover primer. You guys would know this is one of my favorite primers ever. I cannot recommend this enough to people. I just love what it does for my skin underneath my makeup. Even not wearing makeup, I think it's a great moisturizing primer. The next thing is actually a little travel size of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I bought this somewhere i think i bought this from mecca or i bought it online at sephora or whatever um now i have the full size but i did finish off using this this is really great because it's actually really travel friendly because the big laura messier translucent setting powder isn't really travel friendly it's quite bulky and big but yeah this one was really good this was the travel size um and yeah i love this powder i cannot recommend it enough to anyone on the earth okay i've got a whole heap of products in this little empty candle but we're going to talk about that one later i have so many lip balms so let me just get all the lip balms out of here okay i'm just going to stand up for this these are all the lip balms that i have to show you i'll just go quickly through and review them really quickly for you guys so i have three burt's bee lip balms to show you guys i really liked these about a year ago now um i haven't really been using them i mean if i have some around i'll use them um i have the vanilla bean um the cucumber and mint i have the mint cocoa one which i actually bought from america that's like stretching to a year ago now which is like so sad i loved that trip i really like the burt's bee lip balms they're really great they don't dry out my lips and i they don't have any like petroleum in it which makes um is something that they put in lip balms to keep on making you apply it um they just really moisturize my skin and they're like all natural and everything i love the flavors as well i have so many of them all scattered through like my house my bag my work locker everywhere i have two pot lip balms to show you guys i actually was almost finished this like three years ago and then i found it again and i just finished it it's the nivea butter tin in caramel cream i love these nivea lip balms they're actually really really good um and yeah they're just like really moisturizing and you can get like heaps of different flavors um they don't sell the caramel cream one anymore which is actually a real shame because this one was so good. Like, and then this Blistex Lip Conditioning Pot. This is one of my favorite lip balms ever. Yeah, I love this lip balm. It's a really good lip balm. The next one I have to share is this Cores, um lip balm. My auntie actually gets these for me from Greece. Um, she loves them. The almond one is really good. I have an almond one in my um, handbag at the moment. And I use it when I'm at work. Um, I love these. These are really, really moisturizing and really like 
mm, yeah they're just amazing the consistency they're like a really thick Corey hates them and when he kisses me and I have it on he's like wipe that off and I'm like no because it's moisturizing my lips and it makes them so plump and just feel amazing the next one is this hurrah lip balm this is an all natural lip balm I get this from the health food shop I just really want to show you. Come on. You were doing so well at focusing before. There we go. This is what it looks like. This is the chocolate one. Um, it was absolutely amazing. I have another one here to show you, but it's not an empties one. This is the coconut one. This is the one that I'm using at the moment. Let me just put that one, actually. Oh, they're so good. They're all natural. Um, yeah, they're organic, vegan, and made with raw ingredients. I absolutely love them. They have a lot of oils in them, so they're kind of more of like an oily consistency if that's something that you really like. They're not really like a balm. They're more like oily. But yeah, I do actually really like that. I have a whole different heap of lip balms that I love. I'm a lip balm junkie. Okay, we're down to the last couple of products. I know this video is probably a thousand years long, but if you made it to this far, I love you so much. But the last three things are actually some mascaras and a brow product so we'll just talk about this brow product because i really love this brow um pencil it is the nyx micro brow pencil this is what it looks like you can get it from um priceline and it's just a really really thin there's none left in here but i have already repurchased this um in a darker shade because this was a little bit too warm for me i am a lot more like a cooler maybe like a I'm like a black almost um, hair color and I do like my eyebrows quite dark. I'm not really ready tinge. Um, this is really great. This kind of reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil because it's really, really thin. Not as great quality, but still like high up there in quality and it's really cheap and affordable. I do use this to like do the front of my brows and make like hair like strokes and just add in any places that aren't really, really dark because I kind of like the block <laughs> eyebrows and the last two beauty products are actually mascaras these are both of my favorite mascaras this is just the lash sensational by maybelline so many youtubers love this i absolutely love this mascara i hate the water proof one it's actually so shit but this is what the brush looks like um it's great for your lashes if you're wearing falsies or if you're just wearing this mascara i cannot recommend this to you enough um, and then this is the, I don't even know because the um, print has rubbed off, but I do have one already in my makeup collection. They have changed the packaging on this because I work at Walt West and this is where you buy this mascara from. Who's that? Uh, it is the Model Co um, Lash Extend Black. This is actually like a tubing mascara. I'll show you what the brush looks like. It's just like a kind of a very simple um lash wand but it's a tubing mascara and it actually separates your lashes and makes them really really long and amazing i love this mascara i'm sorry i'm saying i love this product i love this product so much in this video but yeah when a tubing mascara is like when you like wet your lashes like when you're taking it off and you just like kind of like gently rub on your lashes and it comes off in like little like tubes and little balls it's so amazing i definitely recommend you picking this up it's only like 18 dollars like so like a standard um, drugstore mascara price but um, when you can get it half price at Woolworths it's like $11 and it's so amazing I 100% recommend it all right so I've left the best products for last candles this um, label has kind of rubbed off so we'll just talk about this one really quickly I did just get this one from the kabucha markets it was a watermelon lemonade scented candle and it was $12.50 it smelled so amazing I loved this my boyfriend loved this we both love watermelon scents of anything and yeah this was just a really great candle and then this candle if you guys remember about a year ago now maybe like just over a year ago this candle is from Kmart this is the Christmas cookie candle and I hope that they bring this back I'm actually gonna go to Kmart after this video and try and find this or try and find these candles you guys would have known I was burning these candles. This was in my summer favorites, I believe. This candle smelled so amazing, and I hope that they bring it back this year. Um, but yeah, I loved this candle. I finished this ages ago, but it's been in my empties basket for so long now. Anyway, that is the completed empty visit video. Please leave a comment in the description box if you liked this video or you still think that this video is like a good YouTube video to watch. Or if you made it this far in this 
video. I knew I had a lot of products, but I didn't realize how many there were. They're literally all over my floor at the moment. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful in some way or you found some interest in it. Um, I love empties videos and I'll probably still make them even if they aren't the most amazing or recommended videos to watch on YouTube. But yeah, I hope that you guys have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. I love you guys so much and I'll hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye.